<laughs> but a mouthful of chocolate. And this is not a spring chicken today. Oh, actually, the, the chocolate we're eating is Godiva, is it Rancho Santo Domingo, 85% cho um, dark chocolate. It's a big chocolate bar like this. Yeah. It's really good. Part of it is the, it's got that little bitter, sweet taste. And so you don't actually have to eat a lot. Just a little bit of it. But I know dark is actually good for you for a lot of things, but um, Today see, we're going to be talking about Easter. Yeah, I'm going to mouth for stuff and trying to find out. Oh, what? first we're going, to, we're going to do it in two different parts this day. We're going we to are? do the pagan, the pagan ridges of Easter, then go to the Christian. Mm. We don't know, we got really got mouth full of dark chocolate. I basically... Mm. You know, Godiva, if you want to sponsor us, when we're in can, we'll be happy also. Delicious Godiva chocolate. Okay. So the pagan origins of Easter, well, my best guess is, is it started because it's springtime, right? Mm -hmm. They're celebrating... It's the fertility bit again. Mm -hmm. Remember, most Christian things have to do with um, orgies. Always do. Most Christian things? Are you serious? No. Most pagan religions in the Mediterranean had a major seasonal day of religious celebration are for following the spring or the, or the equinox. Mm. So Brill, the, um, the Fragilian fraternity goddess, had a consort, Addis, who was believed to have been born by virgin birth. Isn't that amazing? He basically was uh, believed to have died and been resurrected during the period of March 22nd to March 25th. Here's the big deal, folks. Easter doesn't really have a set date. Mm. They seem to have a slight problem of when it actually did happen in history. Is that why Easter changes every year? Mm-hmm. Oh, not on... I mean, if you notice, I don't even know how they determine the Easter date. Because it's not like like uh, Thanksgiving is the third, third, or was it the third Thursday in okay. November. Actually, I, I Or December 25th. Is right. that we do have a... I think we can answer the question right there. Okay. Here it is, here it is um, uh, on setting the date, which, which you know how this is live because she makes a question then. Okay, um, uh, basically uh, uh, the, sim the, the synoptic gospels, Mark, Matthew, and Luke state that Jesus' last supper was a cedar or a Passover celebration on the 15th of Nisan after, uh, after sundown. They, you know, folks, that's March. Mm -hmm. That's March, not April. Mm -hmm. um, most experts, though, reject the timing. They assume that he chose a false date for symbolic reasons, um, and that Jesus was murdered on a Friday. Then the Passover. If Jesus was murdered on a Friday, the Passover must have happened on a Thursday. That's right. So uh, they accept the execution date. Uh, okay, they're they're accepting the execution date of April uh, of uh, April seventh as correct. The great scientists are significant to two likely dates, though. Somewhere, but you know, April seventh and April twenty-third. But then again, it could have been March. It could have been in March also. So, uh, Boy, these calendars. <laughs> and here it goes. Most Christians believe that Jesus was executed and buried just before the beginning of Passover on Friday evening. Uh, the majority believe that the execution occurred on a Wednesday, not a Thursday. <laughs> Uh, so basically, here's That's how, okay, dark. here are the dates that are the dates that have been suggested as being realistic: um, April 5th, April 6th, April 22nd, or April 10th, or perhaps March 23rd. Is that why it changes all the time? Yeah. Uh, they said that they uh, they now said they've also the theory is that no one actually knows when it did happen. It's just no one actually knows when it did happen. Just any date between March the 23rd they, they just celebrated and April it on a Sunday. It's, it's, it's like a convenience holiday. You yeah. Know? Almost. In, I mean, and I know there's some of you that would be offended by that, but it's like December 25th is, right? It's Christmas. No matter what day of the week it's on. Mm -hmm. Right? The yeah. New Year's is the, January 1st. But this one changes. It, it changes. It's got to do with but whatever. It's on a Sunday. It, you know, it, it, it's as long as it's on a Sunday, which is a day of rest, so... So we'll get back to the. Um, uh, I'm going to get back to uh, okay. About uh, a bit more, okay. About 2000 BC, 200 BC. That's before Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, the cults that began to occur in Rome, just as in Greece, most notable the civil cult centered on Vatican Hill, associated with the cult with their lover Atticus, Dominicus, or 
Orpheus, according to the new name. He was a god of ever reviving, which means he was probably had something to do with the uh, uh, afterlife, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, what wherever Christian worships of Jesus and pagan worship actors were ab uh, active, uh, they used to celebrate the death and resurrection of the two on the same date. That would tend to make you think if they're celebrating the death and resurrection of a pagan and a Christian at the same time. I can raise my hand and ask the question. What? Does that mean they're actually celebrating the death of uh, uh, religion? Okay, I'm, I'm going to try to put this in a thing. I am. Uh, a zillion years ago, I, I, I played a lot of Indian, you know, blonde hair, and skin. And I, I was in a movie with um, Charles Bronson, when he was Charles Bronski, and Ralph Meeker, and, um, and, and um, Rod Steiger. And in a movie, basically, the, uh, Rod Steiger wanted to become, he wanted to abandon the, uh, he got tired of war and decided to go somewhere he didn't have it. So he said, I can't change my religion to join yours. And so the, uh, you know, Charles Bronson asked, who's saying the Indian nationally, because he looked like an Indian folks, just like I did. He asked, uh, you know, he said, uh, do, you, do you worship a man or, or, or the, the son? And he said, I worship a man. Said, do you, do, you know, was, what was the white painted woman part of your religion? He said, well, yes, the, you know, um, Mary. And he said, same religion, just different name. Mm -hmm. This is about the same thing. They're talking, um, you know, they're, if they're worshiping the death and the resurrection on exactly the same day, same religion, just a mm -hmm. different name. Mm -hmm. um, here you go. Uh, basically, many religious historians and liberal theologians believe that the death and resurrection legend first associated with Atticus many centuries before, they were simply grafted into one to make the story better for retelling. <laughs> you mean, back in, that we had, uh, you know, at 2000, back at, you know, in two, when, uh, when it was 2011, two, two, you know, 1 BC, they were um, talking about PR, mm -hmm. it's all about telling a good story. So, um, I love that. Uh, uh, v, uh, you know, uh, ancient Christians had an alternative explanation. They claimed that Satan had created counterfeit deities and they usurped. Oh, and, and, counterfeit deities? Okay, here's the problem, folks. It happened 200 years before Christ. So, therefore, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, but. Uh, uh, they, they, okay, the the Christians regard Jesus' death and resurrection account as being true and unrelated to any earlier tradition, even though they happen on exactly the same dates, two hundred years apart. So, um, we must let our modern day neo neo pagans continue to celebrate the spring, spring earth, earth equinox as one of their eight yearly Sabbaths, the holy days of celebration, which just sort of go along with all of the Christian ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, who came first? The pagans or the Christians? Yeah, that one's an easy one. Yeah. The rituals of the spring equinox are related primarily to the fertility props and the balance of the day and nights. Uh, you know, uh, See, originally, it, it, since the pagan one started, right? Yeah. The, but did they, they, what did they call it? They didn't even call it. They called it probably the equal, spring equinox yeah, or whatever. Equinox, yeah. Or the celebration, the, the celebration of spring the celebration or whatever they called it. The celebration, call the it, celebration of Attis. Ah. You know, rebirth, the rebirth of the ground, rebirth of the stuff. It's, it's, yeah, but see, they could have been, two, it's like there are two separate holidays and they combined them. Yeah, so we, we gave you the, how, how, we give you the pagan version, which strangely resembles a Christian version, 200 years earlier. Mm -hmm. Ten, okay. Well, the difference is there was no, like, Passover and resurrection. The other one was just the rebirth of No, springtime. there was resurrection. Rebirth is resurrection. Oh, okay. It's like springtime rebirth. He was, he was uh, murdered. Uh, murdered and reborn. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, so now that we've given you a sort of a hint that that so okay, it yeah. has more reality to it because it was being celebrated for 200 years before Christianity came mm -hmm. around. Um, it, there is a question: Did the death of Christ ever happen, or is it just the people telling the tall tales from the other? Are one? you serious? That's that. That is a thought now. Is it, did it ever happen, or is it just tall tales? Because they've already changed the, the three Gospels. Uh, so they said that those things that uh, John said were inaccurate. 
He was oh. there. Now, this is like a whole new line that I haven't no, even heard no, before. No, I, I try to dig out something new because I actually... He, he wants research. it because we, we're doing live, right? So he likes to bring these out, so I'm totally surprised about Because this is totally different than, of course, I was raised Catholic, right? Yeah. And, you um, know, so... <laughs> I, I'm a Lutheran German you. So. See, this is totally different than anything I've ever heard. Yeah, so. You know, and you know, like the Easter bunnies were. Had to I, I didn't do the thing on Easter bunny because the Easter bunny is basically really going way out there. It's a pagan thing also. So. But uh, now we got the Judeo Christian version. After we've explained to the part that they're basically clamped on to something that was 200 years old or been celebrating for 200 years, they celebrated the same bloody dates. The same dates with the same thing, so. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, a common thing presented in many of the pagan religions described the life of a man, God, a savior of humanity, his execution, his visit to the underworld, his resurrection after two or three days, and his extension to heaven. They uh, basically also, uh, Yasu, basically Jesus Christ was not his name. His name was Y-E-S-H-U-A -E of Nazareth. It was not Jesus. Which, which depending on how Jesus or Jesus, right? J E S U S is Yesu, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's basically it's a mispronunciation of the name. Total mispronunciation of the name. Um, the Gospels include the Christian version of the pagan thing, which we've already explained, but. Um, uh, Easter Sunday is a date when a group of female followers first noticed the tomb empty and included that he had either been resurrected or his body had been stolen. So basic, yeah, I know. The time of the Christian celebration of Easter is likely is linked to the Jewish celebration of Passover, you know, the Feast of Unleavened Bread uh, by the ancient Israels in the New Year. Uh, it also ties in with Passover. Passover, uh, the equinox means equal night. Guess what? Passover means equal night. Ooh. You know. Well, I mean, I'm just kind of guessing because of the idea of Passover. Yeah, basically. It's like we're all equal at night. Yeah. I Although know. the Passover was, equal was to pass over. And the basically, house. all of the Jews were equal that night because they knew how to protect themselves from the God, the angel of death. They were, they were all equal that night. So I, I know she's really liking this one because this is... I know, this is like... I know, so you can go down liberal. They go, you can... They're, they're, we all know that the, the past of, you know, the firstborn kid of everybody, that's, which they said there was a reason. I, I read, I, wa I watched the History Channel. They said the firstborn was generally the, the one that was most likely to live in the family. He's not likely to die from any disease because that's got, he got all of the good care. Yeah, because usually the firstborn was the favored, right? And it's typically yeah. male. It's yeah. typically the firstborn male. Yeah, they didn't care about the firstborn female. Uh -huh. But now she's got, she can do her thing. Yeah, like, isn't neat that she has no clue of what's been done? <laughs> As you can tell. And liberal theologians trace Passover to an ancient pre Israelite pagan ritual practiced, practiced by wandering um, Semitic shepherds. The Feast of Unleavened Bread was originally a traditional. Canaanite agricultural harvest, which was adopted by the Israelites. Now that totally makes sense. Uh, it's because it's easier to make unleavened bread than it is bread that is raised. Yeah, I figured they couldn't find the yeast. Yeah. Um, it marked the start of the barley harvest. Barley was the first crop to ripen. Because they occurred at about the same time each year, the two celebrations became merged into a two day observance. See, they already wanted to start having a long weekend. Yeah. <laughs>